Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mowers and in today's episode we're going to be taking a look at um, number two lawnmower which is uh, an Inhel which is E-I-N-H-E-L-L -L. I think they're a German make off the top of my head um, it's a drive mower and I've had it firing just by putting petrol down the head but haven't tried anything else with it as you saw in the um, previous video I did on the job lot so I'll take you guys outside, put some petrol on it, see if I can get the fire. It may fire straight up, I don't know. Um, but uh, until we try, we won't know. So without further ado, let's get down on Dirty and let's check out this little lawnmower. Right, here it is, 3.75 horsepower. I don't know if there's any fuel in it or not, I can't remember. There is fuel in it. There's not a lot though, so let's put a bit of fresh fuel in. Just to try and help it along. I've had these in before, and they're not a bad little engine to work on. Let's have a little look at what we can do. It's a throttle work. Uh, choke is all the way back, which is that way. And let's see what we get. It may fire straight up. Nice, it does. What is going to start then? So it's not going to fire at all. Let's get on the bench, and uh, I suspect the carburetor to be a problem, so um, let's go from there. Okay, it's before going any further, there's a fuel on off switch here and the fuel was turned off. How very silly of me. Let's turn that fuel on. And what I want to do is get a rag. I just want to undo that bowl just to run some fuel out. That's the first thing I'm going to try and do. So let's have a go at doing that first. And let's just try and uncrack that. Oh, it's going to be an 11. Can't be. No, that's a 10. Just going to crack that open. See if we get any fuel to run. Oh, look at that. Look at the state of that fuel. That's black. That was as black as you like. So I'm just going to run some fuel out. not running as well as I would like, but it is starting to clear. Yeah, that's running better now. So it didn't know it had a full tap on it. Let me try and put that back on now. And we'll try and get another run. Just to see what happens. Wouldn't it be hilarious if it was just purely the fuel the tap was turned off? And that wasn't preempted. It literally was a mistake on my behalf. It wasn't until I sat down and saw this on the side. It's got a fuel tap just here. Right, let's check the undersides. A few washers there. Let's just check underneath. The blade is on as it should be. Blade looks good actually. Yeah, blade looks really good. Okay, let's try and get a pull and now see what happens. Man in. Massive fuel leak out the back. Just there. So the carburetor does need doing. And as soon as you turn the fuel tap off, it'll stop. So we have a fuel leak over the back. But the engine fired up, eh? Right, let's get this this uh Carburetor off, it's got an issue somewhere. Could be a gasket, could be anything. So, until we get into it, we won't know. First thing I want to do is remove the air filter. Oh, if I can. There it goes. And there's little, little round filters on these, so pretty cool. 
Uh, bit of 10 mil on there, I dare say. So it fired straight into life, <coughs> but uh, it has got a, uh, a fuel issue. Then grab a magnet tray of some description. And the V's snap on these if you're not careful. I had one snap on me before. I might try and get a, a flat headed screwdriver in there just to help it along its merry way. breather pipe as well to come off which is probably is what's hindering it so he's all plastic so you have to be a bit careful you don't want to break any of that that's the air box off so judging by the state of the fuel that was in that carburetor um, that's not going to have been helping I'm hoping it's just a very very simple fix yeah that's been chewed so I'll have to make sure that uh, that goes back on properly I'll open it back up again so that, that just slides on rather than uh, causes any other issues so I'll put the air filter box all back together So I don't lose no bits. Um, what have we got here? So we've got a a spring on the top. Ready. And we've got an arm here and a fuel pipe, so I'm gonna need my forceps. Clamp the fuel line off. Once I remove the clip, which is right in the way, bring it forward. Give that fuel line a bit of a twist just to try and break its seal. Try and encourage that fuel line off when it comes. Once it's off, I can get my forceps in there before we get too much of a leak and clamp that off. That's a fuel line now safe. <clears throat> Just got this other linkage to drop off of this arm here, and it'd be probably best just to get my long nose pliers in again. This has had a bend in it already, so someone's already been in here once, I'd say. It's so close, it's not even funny, so I might just try and twist that arm slightly, like so. That's it. That then give me that rod. That rod can go back on to the arm. That's secured. Like so. Yeah, that's not going really, to... Oh, I might do. Yeah, I might be lucky. Yeah. I've got a fuel hose has come off as well. The clip. Right, that's it. That's the whole carb off. It looks good. The gasket looks really good. It's not split. So I'm not sure where that is leaking from, but it's leaking from somewhere. So let's give this carb a bit of a clean off. <clears throat> we'll quickly open it up, see what's inside, and then we'll go from there. Okay. So here's a carb. Or do anything just want to clean the top of a carburetor off just to save getting any other dirt inside a carb I'm nearly out of carb, carb cleaner too so that's not a good thing I have got my ultrasonic cleaner so I could use that but I want to see what's inside a carb first is just to remove the dirt that's all it is 
Yes, buddy. Yeah, I've got um, number two lawnmower on the go now. The blue one. Yeah, no problem. I, what I'll do, I'll, I'll get this carburetor cleaned and then uh, you can come back on, yeah? But you were indoors on your iPad. Were you on your iPad, were you? Yeah. All right, what are you playing? Show my sheep. No, All right, fair enough. Right. What was it, Mummy? Jojo Sea World. Fair enough. Can't argue with it. All right. That's the top of a carb team. That's the bulk of where the dirt was. Which is not a very nice picture, but uh, not a problem. Let me get a little tray. I want to see if it, what what condition that fuels in when I take the um, the bottom off. And I want a ten mil um, spanner. Cool. If I can get that off. I might use my socket just to crack it off. That's better. Yeah, still getting a lot of dirty fuel here, so that's not a good thing. There you go, there's a, the bowl. Inside the bowl is black as you like. But the rest looks pretty good, to be fair. I think it's just stagnant fuel. I'll try and get that, um, that jet out if I can. With my trusty homemade jet screwdriver. Which I manufactured myself. Because it fits perfectly. It's just the right width and just the right thickness. should come out. It all goes. Let's check the main jet first. Yeah, nice big hole in there, so that wasn't plugged. They look plugged. Yeah, they're all plugged. Them two are plugged. Those two, those three are plugged. Yeah, they're all plugged, they're no good. So let's just try and free them up a touch. running now they're better right next I want to take this one out do it all the way in first so it's about there which is about two o'clock one two three four Five, six, six and a half turns out on that one. And then this one here, take that one out as well. That's roughly about 11 o'clock. One, two, two turns should be sufficient. Six and a half and two. Yep, yeah, that's it. So I've got me um my cleaner on. Let's just get up the temperature. I'm just gonna put the um the three main jets in to the um, bowl. Careful not to drop them. They will then go into the cleaner. Now that carburetor won't fully submerge, so I'll have to figure that out. Probably best to go that way initially. That lid will shut down on it. No, it won't. 
and this is a three litre one people as well so and which way it's going to be happiest to sit probably that way yeah it's up to 50 that's near enough good for me 15 minutes and away we go and uh we let that do its thing and we come back that water's crystal clear bit of hot soapy water <clears throat> um, and we say we get on okay so just drain the fuel off and it is a yellowish color despite the fact it's had fresh fuel put in there so uh it was going off so now i've got a, a completely empty fuel tank i'll leave the top off as well and that just all evaporate off and it's got a nice clean tank when it goes back on right that's now had 15 minutes look at the state of that water look at the state of that water so that should have done its job now i don't think i'm going to give it another 15 i think i'll leave it at that look at it it's milky it's hot i know that and it's bang on six degrees which is where i like to be That's really clean too. There's a few bits here didn't get, but that, that, that's built. Uh, no, that's built on dirt and grime. But right, let's bring it back to a bench. That's absolutely filthy. I'd like to turn an on-off switch on this. I don't like just unplugging stuff. But uh, that water is absolutely filthy. It'd be interesting to see what's actually at the bottom of that when we go to uh, empty it out. But I'm going to just take this back to the bench, give it a blow off with air compressor, make sure all the water's out of it, and we we'll start to reassemble. I'm just um, watching Golden Retro Movies as well. Good YouTuber, does reviews on uh, on DVDs and films and what have you. So if you haven't heard of him before, go and check him out. I'll just turn you down a smidge. Right, let me get my air compressor. And all I want to do is just want to blow out through the main holes, just in case there's any residual water or any dirt and grime that's not supposed to be in there. I've lost my needle bit to that that's broken so all I'm going to do is just run this through just in the areas where water is going to sit and get trapped right I've got the tube um, that fell actually in the bottom of the, uh, of the machine the bowl now as well and bring in a touch closer if I can Let's try and bring it right in I want to see as much as possible it is daylight through there which you can see which is good that's all now unblocked anyway see all the way through there is no problem at all <laughs> Yeah, they're good. Bowl looks good as well. No dirt and grime in there, which is good to see. So let's now reassemble that. The float was good anyway. That's not cracked. The needle. These have had a bit of a clean up just by hand. Um, I'm going to pin to locate. That's gone underneath. That's it. Um, we want to put the the main jet in, followed by of oh, a tube in the main jet. Sorry, and this this screwdriver is brilliant. So I manufactured it myself, just with a grinder. That's caught up there. It's gone again. Good. Just well seated on that one so that's the way it goes there I want that round the front let's put that on just loosely to begin with and then just nick that up with a 10 mil 
And then I want to slacken that one off. Oh, I can get to it. Because uh, when I go to uh, put the new one on, I put put it back on. I want to be able to loosen that off. That's all been blown through. I've got one spring to go in here, valve to go in here. That's all been blown through as well. And that's got to be done all the way up and then taken back out two turns. <clears throat> Let's do that up. So that's there. One. Two. And then that one goes in there. And then that one goes into there. And that's uh, all the way in. And then six and a half or six and a quarter back out. Let me wind it in and I'll come back. Right, that's all now back in, back um, all uh, as it should be, looking a lot cleaner. Just want to test that air is that airways working. That seems to be working both ways, which I'm not happy about. Let me turn that upside down to test that. I uh, notice that look that's not working that's letting letting stuff through and it shouldn't be so that's actually not working let's uh investigate that let's put that all the way in the seat looks good no dirt in there so that's, that's completely blocked so that's actually not working now I'm suspicious now if that's actually going to be the right the right float for that although it is an indentation just there and I may have had it too far back I may have had it right back here and in fact it sits just on the edge so it might be my error so let's put that back on. Oh, if I can get it out, that's it. It might be my error, but I'm suspicious because it did flood. And the carburetor shouldn't flood. Now, do you see what I mean? Although it doesn't. It doesn't actually sit on that little groove. In fact, that, that groove, I'd be inclined to say that's where it's supposed to sit. Yeah, that needle is actually jumping up. And that actually won't shut off. Full stop. Let me see what else I've got to see if I've got something that'll work. So I've got a plethora of carburetors, all different types, makes, models, and all sorts. I want to find one that's roughly the same, and that looks about right. Just to see, and this is a dirty old carburetor. So I'm going to be a bit careful here because I don't want to introduce anything dirty into the nice clean carb. The reason it's been sat up for a little while, or a pair of pliers. And that one's got a spring on it, which could be good. Let me just check the difference in height, because something tells me this, isn't, this one's too high. So they're about the same height. Let's give that a bit of a clean off. And put that into there. Just want to see if it makes any difference at all. It fits in the hole, which is a good thing. Oh. 
that's working better. So we're going to go with that one. I need to take it back out because the spring is not actually sat where it should be. The spring should be sat underneath like so. Let's try that again. So it could be that someone's been in here. We just don't know, do we? That's the truth of the matter. We just don't know. But it definitely wasn't closing off. It is now, nothing through there. And it is now. So that one can go into that old dirty old carb. And again, this is what it's about. This is about making stuff work. Spares, and this old carb is actually US, it's had it. But every single part of this carburetor can be used as a spare on something else. There's a gasket on the back here. And they just sit in a bucket and uh, wait to be used for something else. And this is what makes us good lawnmower machinists or whatever repair guys, whatever you want to call us. Let's get this right. I think that, that's the one for that one. I could be wrong. Both look the same to me. Uh, yeah, I think that one goes on there. That goes in my tub. That's my nice bowl. And again, it puts around the right way. Fuel tap on. 8mm around the front. Oh, sorry, 10mm around the front so I can get to it. That goes on. Let's do that up. Try again. Yeah, that's working. And it wasn't before. Okay, let's clear the decks down and let's um, get this lawnmower back on top, get the carburetor fitted, and then we'll go uh, for a fire up to see if or not in that, in fact, we have actually fixed this lawnmower. Unfortunately, there's no telling whether or not the carburetor cleaner has worked or if it was a problem just with the float itself. So, but that's neither here nor there. At the end of the day, it wasn't working as it should do, so hopefully now it will do. So that comes off. That goes onto there. I've got to manipulate this carburetor into place with a power gray skull. That should go onto there. That goes onto there. And then that goes into there. I've got to bend that round with a pair of pliers or something just to get that to go on. Don't like bending stuff really, but sometimes it needs a must just to get it to go on. Come on. Work with me. There it goes. That's gone in. And now I can bend that back round to its home. Without bending anything else to upset it. That's all gone in. Happy with that. I've got to bend that round just a touch more, but it's going to be a bit tricky to get in there. I'll have to get this bent that round to where it should be, which is somewhere there. Manipulate the throttle. That's open. That's choking. Yeah, that's working. We've got the uh, rod on the top. That just sits in this little tiny hole, just like so. Then we've got this spring. These are fiddly in themselves. Let's go over top of that. That'd be a better, better fix. And that goes in that little tiny hole just there. That's all sitting back, lovely. I can now bring the fuel pipe back round, which is possibly something I should have done earlier on, but hey ho. 
Next, we're going to go for the gasket. I'm assuming it goes that way. There's a hole down there for it. That looks about right, I'd say. Uh, what else am I missing? Fuel pipe's on. Got the air box to put on. Oh, yeah, I was going to do that, wasn't I? Just on here, it's just rounded off, so I need to get a slightly bigger Phillips screwdriver. And that's all I've done is just tidied it up the far end. It just was sitting too far. Um, that's my grinder that's slowing down. It's a bit warm. It was just sitting a little bit too proud for my liking. And now, hopefully. With that bit just taken off, that will now make a much better seat. It wasn't a lot, I could just notice it though. It wasn't a great deal at all. There was just enough for it not to seat properly. And I'm hoping that that will, once it's pushed in, that will now seat a bit better than what it was. Yeah, that's closed. Yeah, that's got him. There was a gap there. It wasn't a lot. Probably about probably about half a mil, but it certainly wasn't sealed. Let's put the air pipe back on where it should be. Make sure the throttle works. Does okay, air filter's fine, and now what we can do is run some fuel in. I'll check for leaks, do that 8 mil up for about 10 mil. I keep calling it an 8 mil, it's not a 10 mil. Keep um, run that 10 mil up so it's tight, put some fuel in, and we we'll test for leaks first. Okay, that's the tank now half filled. Which I'm happy with. It's not showing any leaks as of yet, but I'm not 100% certain if I got fuel down this neck of the woods just as yet because the fuel is turned on. So let's just uncrack this 10 mil. Try and run some fuel. Now that should run very well now because it's all been cleaned. Yeah loads of fuel coming through there, excessive amounts of fuel, which is nowhere near as much as what we had before. So that's good. I've got fuel down the bottom. I'll do like that. Lovely. And then what we do is we go for another fire up now to see what sort of uh, it runs like or to see if it still leaks or because it was absolutely chucking fuel out the back absolutely chucking it which is no good for any okay just got it outside i haven't fired it up yet try and get a decent picture because the sun is uh beaming down right what we're looking for is for fuel not to come out of here that'd be nice but uh we'll see how we get on on to choke let's see how we get on So that's that, all clean up underneath. Belt put back on, blade on, and what have you. Um, let's see if we restart now. I'll get my clamp. And what we're looking for is to see if a drive will now cut in as well, which would be nice. Don't forget, this mower has been tipped up, so 
It may not start, it may smoke initially. So it does drive, but it's only driving on one wheel, not two. So it needs an investigation as to why that's not being transferred over the other side. And the wheel is particularly wobbly. So once that tightens up and is more stiff up, that should be better. Um, however, drive does work. Just wants a bit of investigation as to why it's only driving on one end. Uh, the gearbox may be gone, but uh, until I straighten the wheels up anyway, we're only loose, I think. A bit of wear in there. Um, but uh, at least it, it does work and does drive, so it's a bit of TLC. Okay, so that's that little lawnmower up and running. <clears throat> I don't think I can get the other drive wheel to work. Um, I've investigated it and it looks like one of the, the cogs on the outer side wheel have gone. I may have a spare wheel for one. I seem to remember doing a uh, Power Devil some time ago and I seem to remember keeping the back wheels because the cogs were good. And I'm thinking they're exactly the same. So if they are, I should transfer it over her. I've just tried it up and down the lawn and it does it does run relatively well. Um, but again, it's going to be a cheap mower so it's not you're not paying top end money for a mower. It's a little cheap run around so that would be cool. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little video of mixed mowers, um, fixing that little engine up. A simple little carburetor fix is all it needed, or possibly just that little tiny needle inside the chamber. Uh, but it's up and running and runs quite sweet. It'll have an oil change before it goes out because it is a bit smoky and what have you, but, and the oil is a bit black. So it will have an oil change. The spark plug is fine, air filter is fine, and it's good to go. So once I figure out the back wheel for it, um, I should put that onto it, and then hopefully back wheels will then drive, um, and then to straighten them up, and they're good to go. So thank you very much for joining me in this episode of Mixed Mowers. Hope you enjoyed it. It's getting very, very warm in this shed. Um, any comments, you know, just tick them down below, positive or negative, I don't really mind. And if you don't mind um, touching the old subscribe button and whacking the old bell whilst you're there, that'd be fantastic. But until next time, don't forget, take it easy.